Hello rock and rollers and welcome to a kind of bonus episode of Rock and Roll English where today I'm going to tell you a story about my Italian. Okay, obviously as you know I live in Italy so I thought I would tell you about my journey of learning and speaking Italian. So, obviously I can speak Italian. Um, I have lived here for more or less 10 years now and, you know, I can speak fairly well. I repeat, fairly well. Not perfectly, but fairly well. I speak to Mrs. R&R every day in Italian. I'm not always sure that she understands me, but I certainly try. Um, So I reached this level of Italian um, without ever actually doing an Italian course or without ever formally studying Italian. Well, actually, that's not true, okay, because I once signed up for a course, okay, the classic language school, all of that stuff. Um, And luckily, there was a try before you buy, which I think is quite self-explanatory. You can try it before you buy it. So I did one day at this school, and then at the end of that day, I said... I won't be coming back. I don't really like it. Um, And the reason for this is because it wasn't real. Now, I know that that doesn't probably make much sense, but let me explain. Okay, so we had to do a speaking exercise. I remember this perfectly. Okay, Um, and the speaking exercise was pretend you are in a restaurant. Okay, so I was working with someone in pairs. Let's call this other person John. And the teacher said to me, Martin, okay, you are the waiter. John, you are the customer. Okay, have the conversation now. Okay, so I said, hi, John, Um, what would you like to eat? Um, And John said, "Um, I'll have some pasta, please. And I said, okay. And then I kind of thought, what else should I say? I don't know what to say. This is really embarrassing. Oh, my God, I can't wait till I can go home and never come back to this place because that's not a real conversation, is it? How often do you say to someone, "Okay, let's pretend we're in a restaurant. You're the waiter. I'm the customer. Okay, that doesn't actually happen. It's not real. And we also did some listenings. Okay, we had to listen to some people speaking, see if we understood. And to give you an idea of what these listening tracks were like, these audio tracks, here is one I have in English for you. Hello, my name's Kathy. What's your name? Dan. Where are you from, Dan? I'm from Cambridge. Where are you from? I'm from Cambridge too. Oh, nice to meet you. Now, as I'm sure you understood, that's not real. That's not how people actually speak. The people that you just heard are just two actors having a conversation that was written for them. They are not having a real conversation. So as you can imagine from listening to this kind of audio and also having to speak to someone to pretend to be a different person... I didn't really have the best experience at that school to learn Italian. So I went home and I never went back. But the experience stayed with me. Okay, so when I created the Rock and Roll English family, I thought, you know what? I want to do this and I want to give people something real, something where people can practice all parts of the language, reading, writing, listening and speaking, but doing it with real stuff. Not listening to two actors reading a scripted conversation, listening to real conversations between real people. The same with speaking. When you speak to someone, speak to a real person. I know it sounds crazy, um, but I generally find speaking to real people about real things is a lot better than speaking to someone who is pretending to be a waiter and having a pretend conversation. I don't know how you feel. For example, I was speaking to some members of the Rock and Roll English family recently that live in Argentina. We were talking, um, obviously, with a video call and they showed me their Christmas trees. But obviously in Argentina, it was summer. So it was very strange for me to see a hot place and Christmas decorations. But I found that out because I was speaking to real people. 
you know, like normal humans do. It's a strange thing, I know. Um, so, yes, there is really nothing special about the rock and roll English family. So nothing special in the sense that there is no crazy technology, no artificial intelligence that gives you feedback on your speaking and stuff like that. It's just normal people like you, like me, that speak to each other and get to know each other on a daily basis using English to do this. So you are reading, writing, listening and speaking to English on a daily basis. So if you are someone who likes English but doesn't have the opportunity to use English, then the Rock and Roll English family is for you because we use English every day. Or if you are someone that loves Rock and Roll English and thinks, ah, oh, I have to wait two weeks for another episode, then the Rock and Roll English family is also for you because in the Rock and Roll English family, there are more than 600 episodes of the podcast that you haven't listened to because they are premium content. And the crazy thing is all of those conversations are between real people and not actors reading from a script. But the main thing in the Rock and Roll English family is it gives the chance for you to share your crazy stories with me. On the podcast, I always share my stories about poos, embarrassing stories, whatever. Now, in the Rock and Roll English family, you have the opportunity to share your story with me and I also give you feedback. I am very active in the family. I speak to group members every day. I do Facebook Lives with group members. I record podcasts with group members. I do online lessons with group members. I do everything with group members. Actually, not everything. That makes it sound like, you know, it could be something dodgy. Like, there's nothing dodgy. I do lots of stuff about learning English with group members. OK, um, and if you have any questions, remember, just ask me directly. OK, you do not have to call some number and speak to a machine. You send me a message, an email on Facebook, on Instagram, whatever you want. I will respond to you. OK, so membership is open for the next 10 days. And remember, you can cancel at any time. OK, so if you want to do one month just to see what it's like, then you can do that. You can quit after a month. Absolutely no problem. So if you're on the fence, as we say, you're half yes, half no, try it. See if you like it. If you do, great. If not, just keep on rocking anyway. Um, so yes, as I said, any questions, please let me know. Membership is open and will not open again for I don't know how long. It depends. It could be a month, two months, three months, four months. It depends. The last time it was open was in September, for example. So if you would like to be part of the real community of the podcast, then go to rockandrollenglish.com slash family. OK, I will see you all again very soon. But in the meantime, just keep on rocking, baby. <laughs>